The main difference between Sunni and Shia Muslims is the concept of leadership or who has the right to lead and guide the Muslims. For Sunnis, it's whoever is qualified. So they have to have the religious qualification, they have the practice and the knowledge of the religion, and they have the leadership ability, capability. For Shia, their focus is the person has this righteousness, but also they have to be from the bloodline of Ali bin Abi Talib radiallahu anhu. So they have to come from the cousin of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uh, through his second son, al Hussein, though they count al Hassan as well. So for them, there's this requirement of being in that bloodline to be accepted. And with that, you get differences and divisions about which son would be qualified and also uh, different understandings of what that qualification means. Is he infallible? Can he change the law and reinterpret things? Does he have secret knowledge? Those kind of things come with that.